eight best NBA teams if every player played for their college state team. Let's begin with the Western Conference. Number eight, the New Orleans Pelicans. We have Ben Simmons, Jordan Clarkson, Michael Porter Jr., Terry Eason, and Nas Reed. Our first three players are solid, but who are these guys? They are not good at all. And are we getting the good Ben Simmons or the Ben Simmons we saw last year? This team is gross. Number seven, the Memphis Grizzlies. We have Darius Garland, Derek Rose, Grant Williams, Tobias Harris, and James Wiseman. Darius Garland and Tobias Harris are studs. James Wiseman has a ton of potential to be good, but Derek Rose at the shooting guard? He's not a real shooting guard, and Grant Williams is supposed to be a bench player. This team would be a contender if we had prime Derek Rose, but we don't. Number six, the Utah Jazz. At point guard, we have Dame, Dollar, Lillard, DeLon Wright, Sam Merrill, Kyle Kuzma, and Jacob Hodel. Who is Sam Merrill? And why is he on this team? If we ignore him and DeLon Wright, we have a great lineup. Jacob Hodel is a super underrated center. Kuzma can score 25 points a game. And do I really need to talk about Damian Lillard, one of the best point guards in the league? But we can't ignore DeLon Wright and Sam Merrill. They are absolutely terrible. And I expect better from a number six team. But now we get into the good teams. Number five, the OKC Thunder. At point guard, we have Trey Young, Austin Reeves, Andrew Wiggins, Kate Cunningham, and Joel Embiid. This team is filthy. Every single player can hit the three-point shot. The pick and roll from Trey Young and Joel Embiid? I am in love with this team, especially since I'm a Thunder fan. But the crazy part is they're only number five. Number four, the Golden State Warriors. We have Jalen Brown, Paul George, Jalen Williams, Christian Wood, and Brooke Lopez. We don't have a true point guard, so that's why Jalen Brown is playing that position. The duo of Jalen and Paul George is going to dominate teams. Jalen Williams had an amazing season with the Thunder last year, and Christian Wood and Brooke Lopez are the underrated part of this team. Both of them are elite three-point scorers. So once again, every person can shoot on the team. Brooke Lopez is a defensive player of the year candidate every season. This team is underrated. On paper, this team might not look amazing, but on the court, I think they would do incredible. Moving on to the top three, the championship contenders. But before that, I lost over 10 pounds in the last month, and I want to shout out my sponsor, Factor, for helping me out. This is my favorite part of the week, getting my weekly Factor box. Factor ships fresh meals, never frozen, to your door. Just heat it up, eat it, and enjoy. This saves me so much time and money from going to the grocery store, spending hours preparing the food, cooking the food. That stuff takes time. Factor meals can be heated in the oven or microwaved in minutes. I use the microwave because it literally just takes two minutes. This time I went with the garlic chicken and it did not disappoint. You can tell this food is high quality. Most healthy meals don't taste good, but that's why I love Factor. It's healthy but tastes amazing at the same time. Even my dog is trying to get a piece, but no, 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 I'm finishing this by myself. So head to factor75.com or hit the link below and use code LNU50 to get 50% off your first Factor box. When you're on the website, you're going to find delicious meals that you love. Now let's get back into the video and see the championship contenders. Number three. 
three. The Houston Rockets. At point guard, we have Alex Caruso. Not the greatest start, but then we have Chris Middleton, Kevin Durant, Jimmy Butler, and Miles Turner. Who is going to stop Durant and Butler on the same team? That's just unguardable. And Alex Caruso fits perfectly because we have four scorers on this team. We don't need Caruso to score. We just need his elite defense. And the underrated part is Chris Middleton. He's not considered a superstar, but he could score 30 points any day of the week. Number two, the Phoenix Suns. Let's skip the point guard. We have James Harden, Aaron Gordon, Lori Markinen, and DeAndre Ayton. At point guard, we have TJ McConnell, who I know he's not a superstar, but he's an amazing passer. And with all these stars on his team, all he has to do is pass the ball. Lori Markinen was an all-star last season, and pay attention to the height. Aaron Gordon is 6'10", Lori Markinen is 7'10", Seven feet. DeAndre Ayton is 7-1. This team is massive. But there's one team that beats all of these teams. Number one. Wait, before number one, just for fun, let me show you the worst team in the Western Conference. The worst team would be the Portland Trailblazers. At point guard, we have Peyton Pritchard, Troy Brown Jr., Dylan Brooks, Chris Boucher, and Bull Bowl. Dylan Brooks might be the best offensive player on this team. And you know what that is? That is embarrassing. This team stinks. Number one, the Los Angeles Lakers. At point guard, we have Russell Westbrook. You know what? Put him on the bench because I got someone better. Drew Holiday. At shooting guard, we have Zach Levine, DeMar DeRozan, Kawhi Leonard, and Nikola Vucevic. But if you thought these were good, they are nothing compared to the Eastern Conference. Number 8, the Atlanta Hawks. At point guard, we have Anthony Edwards, Contavious Caldwell-Pope, Josh Okoji, Thaddeus Young, and Nick Claxton. Anthony Edwards is usually a shooting guard, but he has the skill to play the point guard position. Nick Claxton is one of the best defensive centers in the league. Contavious Caldwell-Pope is a three-point machine, but Josh Okoji and Thaddeus Young? We're not going to compete with those players. Number six. Seven, the Miami Heat. We have Bradley Beal, Patrick Williams, Scotty Barnes, and Al Horford. We're getting 30 points per game from Bradley Beal. Scotty Barnes is on the verge of being a superstar. He's probably giving us 20 points per game. Al Horford is the best three-point shooting center in the NBA. As long as he's hitting threes, this team can score. All they need is a good point guard and their point guard is Trey Man. This guy is an average point guard and I don't like Trey Man. Not because he's bad, but more importantly, because he's not subscribed to Lost and Unbound. Don't be like Trey Man. Hit that subscribe button. Number six, the Detroit Pistons. Gary Harris at point guard. Miles Bridges, Franz Wagner, Raymond Green, and Jaron Jackson Jr. Do you see what I see? I see defense! Bridges, Draymond, and Jaron Jackson are three elite defenders. Draymond gets all the steals, and Jaron Jackson gets all the blocks. But I have a question. Who's gonna shoot the ball? Gary Harris can shoot. Franz Wagner can kind of shoot. But the rest of these guys? This offense is gonna be terrible! Now we're moving on to the actually good teams. Number five, the Washington Wizards. At point guard, we have DeJounte Murray, Clay Thompson, Kevin Huerta, Domantis Sabonis, and Chet Holmgren. This team is way better than number six. Clay Thompson and Kevin Huerta are two of the best three-point shooters in the league. Sabonis is an all-star. DeJounte Murray should be an all-star. And Chet Holmgren is literally a unicorn. He is 7'2", and I think he's gonna be the next Giannis.
honest. This team is great right now, but if you give them a few years to develop, they're gonna be a top three team. Number four, the Philadelphia 76ers. At point guard, we have Jalen Brunson, CJ McCollum, Josh Hart, let's skip the power forward, and Steven Adams. Amazing scoring from our guards. Amazing defense from Steven Adams. Josh Hart is... He's Josh Hart. He's okay. He's not good. He's not great. But I care about the power forward. Our secret weapon. Mikal Bridges. Mikal Bridges can shoot the three. But he's also one of the top defenders. And maybe this year he'll be the best defender in the league. This is the first team of the Eastern Conference that I look at. And I see they are balanced. They have scoring. They have defense. They have passing. They're really good. But they're not great because now we're moving on to the top three the championship contenders number three the charlotte hornets at point guard it's not a big deal but we have steph Curry, Kyrie Irving at shooting guard, Brandon Ingram, Jason Tatum, and Zion Williamson. This isn't just an all-star team. This is a superstar team. Every single player can score 30 points any game. You can't double team Steph because Kyrie Irving will be wide open. You can't double team Jason Tatum because Zion Williamson's gonna get an open dunk. This team is unbelievable for a number three team. But miraculously, there are two teams better. Number two, the Toronto Raptors. Toronto is the international team. Players that went to college in different countries. We have Luka Doncic, Bojan Bogdanovic. That's not great. Let's keep going. Oh, Giannis Antetokounmpo, Kristaps Porzingis, and Nikola Jokic. Luka, Giannis, and Jokic on the same team? Those are literally the three best players in the league right now. And you know what? I changed my mind about Bojan Bogdanovic. Because with all these amazing passers, we need somebody who could shoot the three. And Bojan and Kristaps can both do that. I love this team. And number one. Wait, before number one, just for fun, let me show you the worst team in the Eastern Conference. The worst team would be the Cleveland Cavaliers? Oh, this is a surprise. At point guard, they have Mike Conley, D'Angelo Russell, LeBron James, who never went to college, so we're using his high school team, so he's on the Cavaliers. How is a team with LeBron the worst team? I'm about to show you. At power forward, we have Jay Sean Tate, and at center, EJ Liddell. Have you ever heard of those two guys? I didn't think so because they are some of the worst players in the NBA. But this is crazy because I have never seen LeBron be on the worst team in this series. But moving on to number one, the Indiana Pacers. At point guard, we have Shea, Gilgis, Alexander, Donovan Mitchell, Devin Booker, Julius Randle, and do we have a good center? Oh yeah, Anthony Davis. But what if every legend returned in their prime? I've got to see that. 